All right, so in this video, we're gonna be replacing this uh, battery monitor and shunt assembly. I just, I don't like it. Um, I like how every time it's discharged, it never goes back to 100%. Does it reset your amp hours? I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's me, but I, <clears throat> I just don't care for it. So I've got another one. That I'm going to put in place. Let's put it over here. So we're replacing it with this <clears throat> particular model. It has a few more uh, features that I like. This one, I think it's 300, 350 amps. So I'll be installing this one and of the shunt itself, uh, some wiring to do, and here is the old shunt right there. You can see a little plastic block that'll be removed. <coughs> so uh, hopefully this won't be too painful and get it done. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. It's a new channel, trying to get it off the ground. So I uh, hope to have a lot of videos um, for everyone uh, regarding RV full timing and off-grid solar. So, okay, first thing we need to do here is uh, cut our solar panels so that we don't uh, fire our charge controllers. So I will just do that by. Uh, tripping the circuit breaker and we will see the uh, the PV light will stop flashing that will tell us we're no longer uh, connected to our solar panel so and it's still flashing so just to be sure I'm actually going to go disconnect it from the solar panel so I'll be right back So I'm not entirely sure why that's still flashing like the solar rays hooked up, but I've disconnected the negative wire as well as tripped the breaker and unplugged it to the solar ray itself. So it's definitely disconnected. So next we will want to disconnect from our inverter here um, just to make sure we don't have any uh, life power while I'm working on this thing, so actually I think I'm just going to take that back. I'm just going to uh, take it apart at this shunt, and that should be uh, good enough. Nothing's powered up, so that should work fine. Okay, so we've got our uh, new shunt here. Go ahead and get the old one disconnected. It's a cable for the battery monitor itself, so that is removed. I need another wrench here to uh, remove this connection. Actually, I may leave this because I think we'll need it for um, the wiring. So let me Make sure this doesn't have to be connected in a particular direction that does not. So I'll disconnect this.
Okay, so there are two negative wires and then disconnected and there's a good little screwdriver for this guy. Okay, so our shunt is now removed. So now let's go ahead and get the new one connected up here. Eventually we'll have a bus bar for this. So this one lay here will be mounted up, up on the back wall there. So. And hopefully I like this this unit better than the previous one. It's actually my third battery monitor, so let's hope I, I like this one. for this so uh, let me get the wiring um, wiring put together here for this before I go any further okay looks like we got all of our wiring we need here need to repair this uh, positive wire uh, that I cut earlier for the last shunt have these <coughs> little solder on uh, heat shrink type connectors when you heat them up the have solder in the center that uh, creates your connection there they're pretty handy okay let's see I need to make my ground connection first here goes on each side of the shunt. My wiring diagram. And then we'll go with yellow. Goes to my load side and blue goes to my negative side.
those three connections. Now all that's left is to repair this red wire. Proper. These come in multiple sizes, large and smaller ones. <clears throat> With both wires inserted in there on both ends underneath this little uh, metal solder filled thing and then we'll heat it up and shrink it. A bit of wind blowing in here so not super helpful. Yeah, it looks like the solder spoiled. And we'll call that good. Now the only other thing is to uh, insert the wires in the back of the shunt. It's literally just pressing. Oh, I forgot to tighten these down. Those connections are look good. And we will start with the positive first since it is hot and live. Little twist on these so that they fit in there better. Just like that, we just press right in and then release them. You just push it on the back here to release. And we got power, it's a good sign. And we got yellow next. Actually, I got the blue. And I'm finally yellow. There we go. Showing thirteen point eight volts. Um, there's some setup to do here, clearly, but uh, yeah, showing my full battery. Of course, I don't have a load on, so I guess it's probably not really showing this much this point since I don't have a load. Okay. We will call that good for now and uh, put a load on it and see what we got. Okay. Now you can see we have a load on this and uh, I think I like it. Showing about 6 watts of power. It's just my inverter only. 13.8 volts. Current 500 milliamps or uh, about a half an amp, uh, 0, 050 0 milliamp hours, 27 ohm load, runtime two seconds. So, so far, so good. So, I think we'll go with that for now. 
uh, like it better than this one so far. So put some more load on it and see what it does. But, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if uh, you like this video. Thank you.